Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Thanks. Okay. I'm glad to know that. So, welcome then to a new session. Let me share my screen and we begin. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> so I want you to focus on the pictures, okay? I'm going to ask you a few questions about the pictures. Look at the picture number one, okay? Focus on this one. Alex, do you, no. Did you have breakfast today? Did you have breakfast? Yes. Okay. I have. What time? Um, eight o eight o'clock. Mm, okay. Um, let me see. Now the picture number two. Okay. Abigail, do you like to read? Yes, I like. So when do you read? I read when I study and my free time. Okay, interesting. Francisco, do you like soccer? Yes, I like soccer. Okay. But I I don't I don't can play and these days. Oh, you don't play. Okay. And do you watch it? Do you watch the soccer? Yes. Yes, I watch the soccer. Okay. When do you watch the soccer match? The last Saturday. Ah, okay. Let's continue. Um, Julio, do you like writing? So, so. Okay. When do you write? When I need take note in a reunion re, reunite meetings yes ah, okay interesting thank you uh maria jose can you ride a bike yes i can do you ride bikes often? No, I have no practice it for a long time. Oh, okay, no problem. All right, very good. Let's continue. Okay, so in this part, we will focus on some time expressions, okay? For example, I have the word in. The word in, I'm going to use it for general situations. General. Okay, can you read the example number one, Alex? Weeks. Two weeks. Okay, example number two, Abigail. Months in July and August. Okay. Number three, Francisco. Years. And nine, 1917, 1917 and 1981. Okay. The next one, Julio. Decades, the 30s, the eighties. Okay, and the last one, Maria Jose. Then centuries, the eighteen. How do you say? The <clears throat> I'm sorry, the eighteens. The eighteens. Okay, the eighteen 
and the seventh. Okay. So again, when you use any of these expressions, you always use in all the time. Okay. Let's see one example. Okay, look at this example. Can you read this example, please, Francisco? I have a meeting in two weeks. Okay, very good. So as you can see in this case, I am using in because I'm talking about weeks, two weeks. Okay, very nice. Oops, give me a second. Okay, what about if in case of saying two weeks, I can say in a month specifically, for example, I can say in March. Can you read this example, Maria Jose? I have a meeting in March. Okay, very good. Or maybe not the future. I can also talk about the past. Okay, can you help me with this example, Alex? Uh, I met my... Uh... <laughs> Just read it, sorry about that. <laughs> I met my boyfriend in 1978. Okay, so as you can see, I'm talking about a year. And this is not the future. What is this tense? The past. The past. So it doesn't matter the tense. It can be the future, the present, the past. But if you are talking about years, <coughs> sorry, you always use it. Okay. Now let's talk about decades. Okay, can you help me with this example, Abigail? I wore sloping pants in the 17th. Okay, excellent. So when we are talking about the decades, look at this, we always have to use the, because we are talking about a group of years. We are talking about a group of 10 years, a decade. Okay, so when we talk about the group, we always have to use the, in the sevens, in the, 30s in the 80s because we're talking about the century or maybe we I'm sorry the decades or we can talk about the centuries <clears throat> what about this one can you help me reading this one, Julio? I wore a lot of makeup up in the 20s. 2000s. 2000s. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So as you can see, also in the centuries, we have that. Okay. So for the decades and the centuries, we have the, and then we have the year, 
okay? <clears throat> because we're talking about a group of years together. <clears throat> okay, um, let me see. Maria Jose, can you give me one sentence using the example with wicks? Repeat, please. One example using wicks. Okay, I am studying. Um, when we talk about the weeks, you can talk about the future, something that you will do in the future. Okay. I study two a week. I study is the present. We talk about the future. The future. Uh -huh. Hmm. Because if you tell me I go I study, uh -huh. I go to study to I go. No. <laughs> uh, go is another verb. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, let me ask somebody else. Alex, how can I make can I make this in a future? I study. I'm going to study in three, one week. Again? In a week. I? I'm going to study. I am going to, okay. So what was it, Maria Jose? I'm going to study two, two weeks. Okay. Now, remember that when we talk about the weeks, you don't say only two weeks. You need to use in. Only two weeks is not okay. So we say in. In two weeks. Excellent. Okay. Now it's perfect. I am going to study in two weeks. Okay, what about an example related to months? Can you help me, Francisco? Remember, let's talk about the future. Okay, I am going to cons concert in one month. A concert, okay, but tell me a month specific. In July. In July, okay. I like it. Very good. So we're talking about the future and we are using in. Very nice. Now, what about an example related to one specific year? Alejandra? Future. Um, yeah, you can talk about the future or the past. Yes, okay. I'm going to the beach in 2024. In 2024. Okay, 2024. Excellent. Okay, what about one example with the decades, Alex? Um. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you can talk I, about music. I I like to listen to music. Uh, I 
No sé cómo formular en inglés. Ok, um, remember that we have to decide what is going to be the sentence about. We are talking about dates, ok? A decade. In the 30s, in the 80s. So you have to tell me about something from that year, from that decade. I like music. Um, create, I don't know, in the 16s. Mm, okay. So I like music. Oops, sorry. In the 60s, like this? Oops, sorry. 60s? Yes, yes. Okay, that's okay. Very good. So remember, whenever we are talking about time expressions related to weeks, or I mean something very general, like weeks, okay, months, years, decades, or even centuries, we are always going to use in, okay? In. That is specifically for this. Let's continue. Okay, now, another time expression that you can use is when you are using on, okay? This is more specific. And here we have one example. When can we use on? Abigail, when do we use? It? Days and birthday or dates. Okay, excellent. And can you read the example, please, Julia? Monday. June 17, 1987. Okay, so this is an example for a birthday or a date. Very good. And in what other context I can use on? Can you help me, Alejandra? Days of the week, Friday, Monday, the weekend. Okay, excellent. Let's see one example. Okay, can you read this example, please, Letty? I was born on July 15, uh, uh, 1897, 99. 90 or 80? 80. 89. Okay, very <laughs> good. Okay. Let's see another example. Okay, can you read the second example, please, Francisco? The play will be on Friday. On Friday, very good. Okay, and can you read the last example, please, Alex? I have some time off on the weekend. Okay, very good. So as you can see, in these examples, we are being more specific. That is why we have to use on. So if you are talking about dates, birthdays, or one specific day about something, then we have to use on. Like, for example, on July 15, okay, because this is a date, okay, this is a date. Or 
maybe you can only talk about the days of the week. You can say the play will be on Friday. This is a day of the week. Or maybe you can talk about something more specific like the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So you say, have some time off on the weekend. Okay? Now, can you give me one example with one specific date, Alejandra? Mm, Tuesday, it's my birthday. Again? Tuesday, it's my birthday. Okay, tell me the date of your birth. Tuesday, 13. Okay, can you give me a sentence? Not only the date, I need a sentence. Similar to the examples that we have below. My birthday is on thir 13th Monday. On Monday? 13th. July? I'm sorry, June? Or July? June. June. Okay. Thirteen. Um. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Can you give me another example with one day of the week, Julia? On Thursday, I. I go. I'm going to Econo Park. Okay. Econo Park, you said, right? Part. Oh, parts. Okay. And can you give me one example with the weekend, Maria Jose? Okay, she goes out on the weekend. She, I'm sorry. She goes out on the weekend. Oh, she goes out, okay. Yeah. Excellent, very good. So again, when you want to be more specific, always use on for the days days of the week and the weekend, okay? So keep this information in mind. Let's continue. Okay, um, this one is even more specific, very specific. That is why we use it specifically with this example. How do I use it, Letty? Hours. Okay. So we are going to be using at only with hours. For example. Okay. Can you help me with this example, please, Abigail? I always have breakfast at 7.30 a.m. 7? 30. 6? No. 6 or 7? 6. 6. Okay, very good. Okay, can you help me with this example, Francisco? I wake up 
at 5 a.m. Okay. Can you help me with the other one, Letty? Uh, the class in the English class? No, no, no. The other example, the one that we have here. See, the English class is this the one. Class. The example, <clears throat> sorry, the example that we have here. Just read it. I will be ready at 8 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. And can you help me with the last example, please, Alex? I arrived to the meeting at 9 p.m. Okay, very good. So now I want you to focus on this. The first two sentences, present, past, or future. Julio? Present. Present, excellent. What about the number three, Alejandra? Present, past, or future? Future. Okay, and the last one, Alex? Past. Past, okay, so as you can see, it doesn't matter the tense. If you want to talk about time, hours, okay, you always need to use at all the time, okay? Can you give me one example, Letty? Now you can do it. The English class at, no, ¿cómo se diría? The English class, para decir la clase de inglés es a las, a las ocho. Okay, what is the verb in that The case? English class start uh -huh. at 8 p.m. O'clock. Uh, A.M. <laughs> or P.M.? P.M. Ah, okay. Exactly. All right. Can you give me another example, Maria Jose? Okay. I always get up at 6 a.m. Nice. Eh, Julio? I always start to work at 9 a.m. Ah, okay. And one more example, Alex. I, I wake up at 4 a.m. Okay, excellent. So as you can see, all the time that you are talking about hours, always use at. Very good. Let's continue, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, now the other example that we have here, this is when we use the expression around, okay? This is not a specific, not a specific. Around means approximate, okay? Close, around. For example, can you read this example, please, Abigail? Carmen will come around 6 p.m. Okay, focus on this. Around 6 p.m. Okay. When I use the expression around and then I have the time, this is approximate. Okay. So then what, what does that mean? Julio? Any time between five. 45 to 6, 15 p.m. Exactly. Any time. We don't know. The person says around. So it can be 10 minutes before 6. It can be 5 minutes before 6. Or maybe after. 5 minutes after 6. I don't know. 
The person you said around. So it can be before or after. I don't know. Around. Okay. I can give you another example. Let me see. Okay, can you help me with the following example, please, um, Leti? Hello, Lea. Celeste go to the theater around 10 a.m. Okay, so what does this mean, around 10 a.m., Julio? Anytime between 9.45 to 10 15. Exactly. This means that we don't know. It's just around. Even I can say, oops, sorry. Even I can say the other one. I can change the time. Maybe I can say around 5.30. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to have something approximate. Probably the person can get like, I don't know, 5 a.m., Okay, and maybe five forty five. Okay, so it's something in between, like around around five thirty, maybe at five a.m., maybe five forty five. I don't know. Around. Okay, so we just uh, play with the times in this case. Can you give me one example with this one? And let me see, Francisco, using around. Okay, I will arrive at the meeting at uh, around 2 p.m. Okay, can you give me another example, Maria Jose? Okay, it is start to get dark around 6 p.m. Any time between 5.50, 6, 10 p.m. Okay, excellent. Very good. Alex, can you give me another example? Uh, I'm going to sleep around 9.30 p.m. Okay, very good. Excellent. So again, around is just an approximate. We don't know. It's just, eh, just to get an ID. Okay? Very good. Let's continue. Now, in the following example, we have before. Okay? And I want you to look at the uh, this information that we have here. This is a time. Okay? The time that we are discussing is 6 p.m. Here we have 5 p.m and then I have 7 p.m., okay? Now, can you please read the example, Alejandra? Carmen will arrive before 6 p.m. Okay, so as you can see, the time yeah. is 6 p.m., okay? That is the time. And I am telling you that Carmen will arrive before. So it can be any time, before this one, okay? So technically the time could be what? Francisco? Any time between 5.30 at 6 p.m. Exactly, because it's before, nothing is specific. This is not a specific, it can be any time. Maybe at 5, maybe at 5.45, maybe 5.55. I don't know. But it's before 6. 
anytime before. Okay? I can give you another example. Okay, can you help me with this example, eh, Francisco? Lucia arrived to the carnival before 7.30 p.m. Okay, so again, you can talk about the future or maybe you can talk about the past. It doesn't matter, but still, if you are talking a before time, before one specific time, Use this time expression, okay? Now, can you give me another example, um, Maria Jose? Other. Okay. <laughs> yes. My friend uh, will arrive at the party minutes before 8 p.m. Excellent. Alex? Uh, I I ate my dinner before eight p.m. Okay, excellent. And let me. I walked with my dog before seven p.m. Excellent. Very good. So you got. Let's continue. All right, now we have the opposite, not before, after, okay? As you can see, the time is the same. I'm talking about 6 p.m., but now it's not before. Now we're talking about after, okay? Look at this, after. Can you help me with the example, please, Francisco? Carmen will arrive after 6 p.m. Okay, so what does that mean, Julio? Any time between 6 o'clock to half past 6 p.m. Excellent, you got it. Okay, so I can give you another example. Okay, can you read this example, please, um, Abigail? I always eat dinner after 7 o'clock p.m. Okay, thank you very much. Now, can you give me a different example, Julia? I always watch TV after 9 p.m. Okay, excellent. Next one, Maria Jose. Okay, I go in the class after 8 p.m. Again. I join the class after 8 p.m. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Alejandra. I always eat dinner after 7, 7 p.m. Okay, so you always eat at 7, after 7? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's continue. Now. In this case, we have another expression. This is late. That means that it is after one specific time, okay? So here we have the situation. This is the original situation. Can you help me, Alex, reading this? 
the movie starts at 7 p.m. Okay, so this is the time, the specific time, okay? Now, what is going to happen? Can you help me with the other situation, Julio? Susan will be late. Okay, so what does that mean, Letty? Anytime after 7 p.m. Exactly. So if a person is late, it's because we'll arrive after one specific time, okay? For example, I can say, Okay, can you help me with this example, Francisco? I am always late when I go to my job. Okay, so in a job, you have one specific time. So if you are late, it's because you go after that specific time, okay? So can you give me another example, Letty? Yeah, the meeting is at 10 a.m. a.m. Okay, and, and what is this situation? Esa es la situación, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Elizabeth will be late. Okay. That's a good one. Alex, can you give me another example? Uh, I, I am always late when I go to the bed. <laughs> when you go to bed, okay. All right, I just want to uh, add another example just for you to keep it in mind. Okay, can you read the last example, Maria Jose? Lucas was late for the quitting. Okay, so I just want you to keep in mind. You can talk about the future, the present, or the past. But if you are talking about uh, that a person gets after one specific time, then you have to use the expression late, okay? So can you give me a different example, Francisco? Yes. Uh, the game will start late. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Okay, in this part, now we have the opposite. Not late, early. Early means before one specific time. So this is the situation. Can you help me reading, Abigail? The movie starts at 7 o'clock p.m. Okay. So this is the situation again. So what happens then, Julio? Marco and I came early. Okay. So when I use the expression early in this context, what does that mean, Alex? Any time before 7 p.m. Excellent. Because they mentioned that is early. So definitely is before one specific time. 
and I can give you another example. Okay, can you help me with the example of the brother, please, Francisco? My brother is always early when he goes to his work. Okay, and can you help me with Antonia, Alex? Antonia will arrive early at the party. Okay, so again, you can talk about the present, the past, or the future. But if you are talking about before one specific time, always use early, okay? So can you yes. give me another example, Alejandra? function of the theater start at 8 p.m. Okay, that is the situation, but what happens? Um, anytime before 830. Okay, but you have to give me the sentence. Those are the situations, so you can get the idea. But you have to give me the sentence, similar to the example that I have here or the examples that we have below. You can use the past, mm. you can use the present, or you can use the future. This one is just an extra for you to understand the idea, but you don't have to tell me this. This is not necessary. Just tell me the sentence. Okay. Mm. My aunt sometimes. Is it the soup? Okay, but how do you use early in that sentence? We are working with early right now. Okay. I found sometimes early visit the soup. Okay, my aunt sometimes visits the zoo early in the morning, maybe. That could be, but you cannot say early visit. Not possible, okay? All right, let's see another example. Mm, Leti? Uh, my sister always comes home early. Okay, that's a good one. And Julio? In general, I wake up at by 30, but today I wake up early. Ah, okay, excellent, very good. So we got the idea, let's continue. All right, and this is going to be the last one. In this one, we are going to be checking until, okay? Look at this, until means that you have to stop, okay? For example, my work or my job 
starts at 8 a.m. That is the situation, okay? The job starts at 8. But I have to stop my job or my work at 4 p.m., okay? So what happens in this specific time? Can you read the sentence, please, Alex? I won't go, go home until I finish my work. Okay, so look at this. I won't go home, okay? Because my work is stops at 4 p.m. So that means that from 8 a.m., I'm going to be working, 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 and I stop at 4 p.m. After 4 p.m., I can go home. After, but not before. After, yes, because after, my job is finished my job is completed at 4 p.m so that means that i have to work until 4 p.m okay and actually i'm going to write that one here okay so that means that I'm going to stop at 4 p.m. That is what I'm going to stop. I can give you another example. Okay, can you read this example, please, Abigail? We continue the course until June 29th. Okay, nice. So as you can see, whenever I use the expression until, I am referring to stop. We continue the course, then we stop, on June 29th, okay? Um, I won't go home until I stop to finish my work, okay? Or I can say I have to work and then I stop at 4 p.m., okay? So until is the same as a stop, all right? Okay, now that I explained that, can you give me one example with this, Alex? I I watching series until eight p.m. Excellent, very good, Letty. I exercise until 10 a.m. Perfect. Maria Jose? Winter comes in May and ends until October. Awesome. Francisco? Um, at my work, after lunch, I play ping pong until 2 p.m. Excellent. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Questions before we go about the time expressions? Is everything clear? Be clear. Okay, excellent. So if we have no questions, we continue with more to more, okay? Thank you very much for coming and have a beautiful night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night, Thank you. teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.